SABC, the South African Broadcasting Corporation, TBC, the Tanzanian Broadcasting Corporation, the Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation, or KBC, the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. You know, whatever communication coming from this or any other government-owned broadcasting outlet is treated as the ultimate official truth. In fact, if any of them declares me today the ultimate African storyteller, <laughs> Hello, my name is Oti Culture. I'm requesting the song One Love by Bob Marley. That was my life. A reggae radio presenter at the state-owned Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. On this particular day, I had assembled a playlist capable of launching a nuclear warhead without Joe Biden's consent. But, uh, of course, uh, some songs in that list reflected the realities on the ground in Kenya at that particular time. Eh? You see, Kenya was recovering from a very bruising electoral uh, uh, contest, which was marred by a bloody post-election violence. The situation wasn't made any better by the negotiated government in place, which had a prime minister and a president who rarely read from the same script. It was bad during that time. Eh? Your guess is as good as mine as to the awkward situation we government employees found ourselves serving two centers of power literally not one center of power my friend but two centers of power at the background i was playing usizi by the mighty slaves it was quite something at that time maybe because of its uh, mournful nature then from nowhere the doors to the studio swung wide open pa pa a man in a black suit with eyes firmly on me stormed in sucking out all oxygen from the room he was from the Prime Minister's uh, press unit. He approached and uh, gave me a firm handshake. You know, those handshakes that are supposed to show you who is boss. He then handed me a, a press release to read as breaking news. Simply, the Prime Minister had decided to reorganize government by suspending two ministers from the cabinet. Then, something strange happened. You see, in a live radio studio, at least where I worked, there is always a television set switched on to keep the presenters abreast with what is happening outside. Breaking news! That was the leading text on TV. The president had overruled the prime minister. So what was this man doing behind me? Before I could obtain answers, another man came in. He was from the presidential press unit. And with him was a press release affirming the president's confidence in the two ministers. Ooh, what in the name of doom was going on? The streams from my bladder was not, were now working overtime and faster, taking whatever they had anywhere. I excused myself and uh, to the gents I went. On my way, I quickly dialed my boss's number. Hello? Hello? Network blunder, network trouble. I had no choice but to go back to studio. As I entered, the TDH, tall, dark, but uh, visibly haunted man, turned towards me. I noticed one of them was secretly tapping his feet to the reggae tunes playing in the background. Wow! Reggae! As I took my seat, I asked myself three fundamental questions. Abuo, who pays your salary? Is it the president or the prime minister? Abuo, who controls the instruments of violence? Is it the president or the prime minister? Abuo, how many, did I, how many times did I call you Abuo? Which of these two statements has potential to stop the reggae music being enjoyed by millions across the country right now? I picked the statement to my right. The President of the Republic of Kenya has hereby affirmed his confidence in his entire cabinet. The public is hereby urged to ignore all rumors to the contrary. Blah, 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 blah. I did it. I didn't look behind me lest I met with a blunt object to my face. I waited for something to happen. Anything. To happen. Nothing. Waited some more. Nothing. I then turned around and uh, believe me or not, there was no one. These people. But before I could uh, let out a sigh of relief, one of the men peeped into studio smiled at me and said, Abuao, please, may you play for me the song Nobody Can Stop Reggae by Lucky Dube. As he walked away, I noticed he was holding hands with the man from the rival press team. And yes, their giggles were loud enough. These people. I shook my head, shook it again, shook it one more time and said, Wacha nifanye kazi yangu. Let me continue with my work. The politicians will do their own work. Because me, I'm employed to play the reggae music to the multitudes that are listening to reggae time at that particular time. And with that, a day that was proving or threatening to give me a heart attack was finally back on track with tracks of peace, love and unity. And as we sing, reggae in the bathroom, reggae in the bedroom, reggae everywhere. 
reggae in church, reggae in jail. Everybody likes it. Nobody can stop reggae.